Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you how to create a map out of some topographic data. In our case it is SRTM data. If you're curious where this data comes from, there's an article on digitalgeography.com how to get those data and how to visualize this data using Quantum GIS. So how to get uh, started with that? So first of all we need uh, the map composer so go into file new print composer or the print composer there's a new window going on and as you can see it is blank and you have some yeah a small set of tools uh, the print composer or the map composer is very limited I have to say that in advance you will see it later on then you have something like a command history um, um, the tab for composition so what is the whole working area about and some item properties. As there are no items at the moment, there are no properties, of course. So we will have a size of A4, I like this, and the orientation. I will change that to be in portrait and um, print as raster. This will be fine. Snap to grid will be fine at the moment as well because we don't use a grid or we need don't need a grid. Well, Maybe it's useful for the for later on. So we will have snap to grid and we will use a spacing something like one or two. Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, let's say four. And now how to get the data into the map at the first try. There's this button here which says add a new map. We'll do that right out of the project add map like this here we are so this is the data coming from the other um, from the other map so if you would see it here this is the same data okay let's go back to our quantum GIS so this is now the map itself you can have a look in the item pro properties especially the scale will be important as you can see you have this move item content which will um, yeah makes you possible which allows you to draw to to, to um, pan the map but you cannot zoom in or zoom out with that tool so therefore you have the scale here change this maybe to 150,000 oh just a little bit too detailed so this will be an area we would like to or I would like to map at the moment and um, there are, there are some tabs here for the extent for the grid and of course we would like to show a grid because the user needs to be aware where he where he's looking at and we will set the grid to be or to have a spacing of 50,000 meters and I don't like the solid style so it'll change this to a cross and not to be so visible I will make this a little bit gray just press an OK there we are there are these tiny crosses you can hardly see them and the annotation should be outside the frame that's good there's the annotation so we have a list of coordinates here as you can see this is 500 or 520 kilometers from the next or western oh no that this is 50 52,000 no this is 5200 kilometers from the Equator. So um, these are units we don't need. So we don't need that time, uh, this precision. And we will set the distance from the map frame a little bit far, a little bit uh, heavier. So it's not so dense to the map itself. So now we have the coordinates, we have the crosses, we have uh, data inside. What is still needed? Of course, a label or a title in this case. So we'll add a title here. That's now the frame quantum GIS. You can adjust the um, the text in the in this frame using this here. So I will give it a title: Eastern Hangai Mountain Range in Central Mongolia. Okay. Should be with uppercase letter. 
as you can see, it's very small as a title, so change the font to be a little bit bigger. And I'll just stick to bold. Okay, here we are. I'll adjust the title here. So it is directly above our map. Change the map to be shown here to the right as well. Title will be a little bit left and right. Okay, so there's a title. We have the map here at the moment. And this is it for the moment. I will uh, change to a second video and uh, show you how to add a label, the scale bar, and some text elements which will describe the map itself. Um, thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.